has shaped so many hands. Uh, my name is Mark Campbell, and I am the owner of Bright Elk Institute. I actually do quite a number of other things as well, but I am uh, proud to be here and happy to be here to serve uh, Reginald. Uh, since everyone has a Reginald story, I'm going to tell you my story. <laughs> well, I met Reginald about 21 years ago, and we actually met over a phone call. I didn't know who this guy was. I thought he was crazy, but he told me I can do anything I want to do. So, of course, I went through the whole football phase in my life, and, uh, of course, that affects everyone and what comes next. And speaking with Mr. Grant, he then quickly invited me to come up to an art show. The first thing I thought to myself was, what is a black man doing at an art show at 20 years old? We don't think about art. We don't think about um, what significance it has. And so I went ahead and I, and I uh, listened to him. I came out to the art show here in Los Angeles. And as I was walking across the street, Mr. Tommy Lasorda decided to fix my collar for me. So once Tommy Lasorda did that, I figured, well, I'm going to like art. I'm, gonna, I'm in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> so went on and uh, enjoyed the show, and he started talking to me and teaching me about networking. Mr. Grant said, you have to learn to network. I had no idea what that was. I was thinking networking was plugging two computers together, not communicating and talking to people. But as time went on, continuously, he called me every single day. What are you doing? Where are you going? What are your plans? Of course, I was uh, in school at the time, working on my first degree, which uh, my first degree is in computer engineering. We then lost touch over a period of time, but what happened is that being his student and the things that he taught me and how important community is and paying back and uh, growing others, when we met back up a couple years ago, the student, me, developed organizations and working with people along the same lines of what he taught me, never realizing that the two were going to come together or to match. So again, I own Bright Elk Institute. What we are, we are a, an academic program. I don't call us a tutoring center. I don't call us just a learning center. We basically do everything. I don't believe you can grow an organization unless you do everything because it's moving so rapidly as far as technology and the pace in which we are doing things. So you cannot leave a stone unturned. In addition to that, I also work with schools and other learning center types or academies or charter schools, primarily with schools that are failing with low enrollment or they're going through some changes. I, I'm the person that comes in and basically tells you things that you do not want to hear or want to know or the reality about your program, whether or not it's competitive or it's going to basically fail. Um, with that in mind, I also recently took on a responsibility of a school that I fell in love with uh, called Calvary Christian School. I had uh, consulted with other Calvary schools. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Calvary schools, but Calvary schools are very big, especially across, the, across our nation. They are Christian private schools. And I fell in love because of the Christian side of education and how it's double, I call it double layered, because there's the academic perspective, and then you bring in this individual person called God on that layer, and the things that students have to go through in order to find a balance between academics and living as Christians and where God fits in. So they were basically are failing. They were on low enrollment. Um, of course, being attached to a church, the funding is not there. And so I went ahead and took on the challenge in the meantime, balancing my learning centers and also Calvary Christian. So I went ahead and took it on. And today we've grown the school uh, by quite a, quite a number. We had to go through and basically reamp the school. We had to, fortunately, let a few people go, but we had to go through and develop the mission, the vision, and really find out what we were doing as far as the growth of that school and the opportunities. Uh, this school is located in Oxnard, California. Oxnard is a uh, middle, lower community, and 
most of the time people cannot afford private education. But we've gone through and developed a program to where we teach people that yes, they can afford a private education for their son or daughter. So we make sure that private education is affordable. Within that time as well, I've also started to get more of a reputation on building other schools. So at this point, I'm also consulting with the school in Tehachapi. Same type of situation, religious-based school, that also is soon to go underwater, but they're not going to because we were able to make quite a considerable investment in marketing and with the community. And today that school actually has 500 students. When I took on that school, they only had 50 students. And that was just a few years ago. And I'm not sure if any of you think about that. I'm not sure if, if any of you are familiar with Tehachapi, but Tehachapi, it's, a, it's not quite a bedroom community, but it's, a, um, it's, it's the country, you could say. There's a lot of dirt, <laughs> all right? And to find that many students where there's a lot of dirt, it takes a lot of work, because there's a lot of travel to get there, all right? But, uh, so they're, they're being very successful right now as well. Also, in addition to that, I have other schools that I work with um, that are more profound. I'm not sure if you heard of Calvary, excuse me, um, Oaks Christian. Everyone knows Oaks Christian, what comes out of Oaks Christian. They're one of my clients as well. Uh, but uh, it's been such a great opportunity to work, to work with them and to learn more about what, what they're doing because of the way their business plan is as far as education and the uniqueness that they, that they bring to it. But back on the Learning Center end of things. Um, the Learning Center has been involved for probably about 20 years now. Uh, the way I acquired it was basically through prayer. I didn't know where God was going to take me. And uh, we started in the garage and, and built the program, uh, just helping some homeschoolers. So today we, we, we service homeschoolers and we service schools as far as their programs. We have online, we have co-location. Uh, we also have some other platforms that, we're, that we've been working with.